Hey WCHS, I'm Allison Tyndall. And I'm Brian Johnson. Stay tuned for a closer look at the French trip, PBS, and show choir camp. It's Friday, and we're back with show number four of season nine. So, Allison, are you planning on going to the French trip next year? Oui, je suis très excité pour le voyage. What? Excuse me? You know I don't speak French. Never mind, Brian. Bailey found out what some WCHS students were up to overseas. Where in the world is Mrs. Kramer and the French three and four students? Gosh, dang. Okay, 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 okay. Wait, I know where they are, but this summer, they're in France getting the opportunity of a lifetime. This sounds like a tradition that's been going on for a, for a while, but what does it take to go? What are the requirements to go to France? They need to be a good student in French three or four, so when they're juniors or seniors and they're serious about French. How does this benefit the French students? Oh, in about a jillion and a half ways. First, obviously, the linguistic and the language that I think they they do learn the self the personal empowerment the self-confidence that they get when they travel they can do subway systems they can do planes and trains they live with a family they can do anything when they get back how long have the French classes been going to France I've been taking kids since 1993 every other year so that makes eight trips with kids so far Mrs. Kramer has had a lot of experience with going to France over the years, but the students have only been studying French since they were freshmen. I wonder how the experience was for them. What did you do day to day on the French trip? Well, usually we woke up really early and put on our walking shoes because we had to walk everywhere in Paris. Um, we saw the Notre Dame, um, the Eiffel Tower, we went to a mountain town called Ancy. it's really cool, it's in the Alps, and we went to Mont Saint Michel. Some of the things that were different from France than the U.S. Oh, I don't know. The language was a little different. Uh, the attitude of the people there, the atmosphere was way different. It was a lot more artsy and, and cafe-y. And the, there were mountains. Mountains are good. Why did you decide to go to France? Um, it's kind of a once-in-a-lifetime thing to go with all your friends and your classmates. And it gave me an excuse to see my aunt Germany. French students took this trip last summer in June for two weeks. Their itinerary was packed full of places to go, people to see, and places to walk. It must have been rough. Be, but being in a foreign country with all of your friends has to be some fun, right? What was my favorite part of the French trip? I loved being with all the different people that we went with. Um, I love the culture, the different landscapes, and being stuck in O'Hare for two days is great too, you know? My favorite part was when we did a bike tour through Paris. What was your favorite part from going on the French trip? The best thing was just being with all my friends and Madame Kramer and just having enjoying the experience together. When all of us girls were spooning in the airport because we missed our flight to Paris. Wow, that looked like a blast. I'm Bailey Anderson reporting for WCTV. And if I want to go take this trip in a few years, I better brush up on my French. Wow, that sounds really cool. I hope I get to go on the French trip next year. I think you have to be in French, Brian, but there are lots of other things to get involved in here at WCHS. Like what? One of my favorite activities is show choir. You could give that a try. Yeah, it's one of my favorite things to do. Kathleen caught up with the show choir last week. Kathleen? Does this look familiar? That's right, show choir's back. Show choir takes a lot of hard work, but when does all the practice begin? Show, show choir camp! camp! What are you trying to accomplish these two days during this camp? Well, our biggest goals are to get um, two of our hardest songs choreographed and then we're going to try and get one of our other hardest songs learned musically. How do you go about choreographing the dances that the choir learns? Well, thankfully, I have nothing to do with it. We get to hire a choreographer who his whole job is to make up routines for different show choirs, and he comes in and teaches them in bulk, and he's wonderful. Why did you decide to hold this camp at the Dance Connection? 
Well, it's a much bigger space, and they also have mirrors so that we can see if our moves are together and see how our facial expressions are. And um, Becky, the owner of the Dance Connection, offered it to us, so thought, why not? This camp is meant to help the show choir learn the dances and prepare for the upcoming season. But what do the students think of this camp? Well, I thought that the show choir camp was really hard, but through it, I have become a better show choir dancer. I definitely think the camp was a success because um, we took a long time, but we got all the dances down good. Did you think that holding this at the Dance Connection was a good choice? I did, because the Dance Connection is a great facility, and it can accommodate large amounts of people, like a show choir. Show choir is a lot of hard work and goes from now until variety show. That's a lot of practices, but in these practices, it's fun. Um, my favorite part would probably be getting to know all the upperclassmen. My favorite part of show choir camp was getting up really early on a Friday that we don't have school and being hang able to hang out with everybody again. Show choir is really hard work with lots of practices and performances. This camp helped greatly and was really a success. I'm Kathleen Moriarty reporting for WCTV and now I got to get ready for my next performance. Thanks Kathleen. So Brian, have you gotten any of those blues tickets yet? No. I'm really worried I won't be able to attend the super secret PBS event. Don't worry Brian, I'm sure you'll get in. Carl has a scoop on PBS. The Positive Behavior Support Program has been around WCHS for a couple years now, but students are wondering, is the program really doing anything? What are the goals of PBS program? Mrs. Member had these comments to share. Uh, the PBS program gives a set of behavioral expectations uh, for different areas of the high school. PBS is created to help influence positive behavior in key areas of the high school, but how do we entice students to follow the PBS curriculum? So, um, teachers have sets of the LIX bracelets, the Respect, Responsibility, and Caring bracelets that we pass out to students uh, that we see following expect expectations. A little bracelet may not seem like much, but with hopes of winning some sweet prizes, students strive to follow the program. How does PBS influence the decisions you make? Uh, it makes me think twice about my actions because I want to get a sweet bracelet. PBS sounds really good on paper, but is it really doing anything good for the school? Mrs. Garvey has been here for quite some time. Maybe she's seen some positive changes. We all kind of strive now to, to really do our best here, and I like to see that. It's been fun. Positive behavior support has really influenced students to think twice about the decisions they make and improve their behavior. Maybe you've seen behavior changes in the hallway, in the auditorium, or even the cafe. The bottom line, PBS is working all over the school. As for me, I'm going to turn in my PBS bracelets. This is Carl Moen for WCTV. Stay positive. Thanks, Carl. Hey, Allison, did you know the full blood drive is coming up soon? No, I had no idea. Well, you're in luck, my friend. Chris Nelm has some information about the blood drive. Hi, I'm Chris Nelm. The blood drive is coming up soon. You can sign up to no donate blood October 22nd through the 26th in the cafe. You must be 16 years or older and you must have a signed blood center parent consent form. You must also weigh at least 120 pounds. There are some myths out there that might be discouraging you from donating. It is okay to give blood if you have a tattoo, as long as the procedure was performed in a facility licensed to apply tattoos in Iowa or Wisconsin. We hope everyone that is able to donate blood signs up to do so. Donating blood is a great way to make a difference. Thank you for all that information, Kristen. Well, that's all we have for you today. Tune in for next week for a special edition of WCTV, a Halloween show. But before we go, WCTV would like to say congrats to the Lynx cross country and volleyball teams. Good job last night. Don't forget about the football team. Tonight, the Lynx will take on Dallas Center Grimes at Dallas Center. Kickoff is scheduled for 7.30. Get out there and support our school. Good luck to all of the students who will be auditioning for Allstate tomorrow. See, See you, you next Friday. Friday.